Hey, Logan here, the creator of Copilot for Obsidian, a popular open source AI plugin in Obsidian. In early 2023, I created this tool to bring ChatGPT inside Obsidian so I don't have to switch between the two. At that time, I didn't expect it to grow as big as it is now. My vision for it has also changed since then. I want it to not just be an Obsidian plugin but an application that's good enough to attract non-Obsidian users to this wonderful app and community. Because you don't get this experience anywhere else. We are familiar with the most hyped AI apps like Cursor for coding, Notebook LM for chatting with PDFs and YouTube videos. So we have some initial idea what a good AI experience could look like. The question becomes, why not combine their strengths with Obsidian? our personal knowledge base and second brain. Copilot Plus is what brings this vision to reality. Today, I'm going to do some demos and quickly show you what Copilot Plus can do. Keep in mind that this is still an early version. Its future depends heavily on your input. Now let's not waste any time and get into it. Assuming you have Copilot plugin installed and ready in your Obsidian Vault, to start using this new plus mode, you just put your license key in the setting and hit save. At the time of this video, early supporters get a test license key from me via email. Those who are on the waitlist will get a notification later. With the license key set, you can set Copilot Plus as your default mode because you will never need the other two modes again. This is what it looks like. We can see a chat input that's similar to cursor. It has a plus button for adding notes and PDFs for context manually. For example, I can either add the current active note to context or any other note, even PDFs in my vault. I can also remove them by clicking the crosses. Or I can type in the note titles with square brackets and they get added to the context automatically as I type. When I delete, they get removed automatically as well, just like that. Now let me demonstrate how the context is used. Adding the two nodes manually and let it summarize the two nodes separately. It gives me the two summaries as expected, one for part one and one for part two. This proves that Copilot Plus has passed the two nodes in the background. Vault search is different from passing the context explicitly. It is doing a local search over the entire vault. One way to trigger it is by adding at vault in your query. And then you can use this show sources button to see the higher relevant sources and the lower relevant sources. With vault search, I can also ask Copilot Plus time-based queries, like what did I do this week? This is the other way to trigger vault search using the keyboard shortcut or the button. It says, this week you summarized the paper titled Recent Advances in Text Embedding. This is because this note is the only one that I modified in my test fault this week. This is to demonstrate that Copilot Plus can use the modified time of your notes and filter on it based on your time query. You don't get this kind of ability anywhere else on the market right now. I showed a lot of examples about this in my last video. If you haven't watched it, 
Please take a look at it after this video. I'm not going to spend more time on it here. Copilot Plus can grab the content of any web page if you have the URL in your query. For example, what's on obsidiancopilot.com? And it checks my website and gave a pretty good summary. Let's try a much harder example. This is a paper on archive with 49 pages. It's a PDF. It has a lot of charts and diagrams as well. Let's see if Copilot Plus can handle this. I'll ask about figure one, distribution of iris flower, and figure 10, the Kenier's neighbor algorithm. In the paper model evaluation, model selection, algorithm selection in machine learning by Sebastian Rachka, Figure 1 illustrates distribution of iris flower classes. Figure 10, on the other hand, provides an illustration of the k-nearest neighbor algorithm with different choices for the hyperparameter. Bullseye, that's perfect. This shows that with a simple URL mention, it gives you the ability to reference a very long paper. It can even read the image and charts in the paper. Now let me demonstrate how Copilot Plus reads PDF in your vault. Here is a PDF with a lot of images I downloaded from NASA. It has 32 pages. First, I'm going to add it to context just like any other note. What are the quotes from George W. Bush? Here are some notable quotes from President George W. Bush related to space exploration. One from 2003, from 2004, and 2004. Let's verify in the PDF by searching for Bush. Okay, we find the first one, 2003. Second one, right below it. And this is the third one. They are all accurate. Now let's do an embedded PDF. I embedded this PDF in this markdown note. Let's try to ask a simple question. List the authors of this paper. The authors of the paper, Learning Structured Embeddings of Knowledge Bases. These are the four authors. They are all correct. Image support is a big one. Let me demonstrate by using this funny sign. This Chinese sign has a pretty hilarious English translation. Let's see if the model can read it and correct it. In plus mode, now we have this image container where you can add and remove images. We're now using GPT-40 mini. This image shows a sign with text in Chinese and English. The Chinese text translates to warm tip and watch your step, while the right side says fell into the water carefully. The English translation has some grammatical issues. A more accurate phrasing would be be careful not to fall into the water or watch your step, be careful near the water. The intent of the sign is clear, but the wording could be improved for a better clarity. Okay, this model is quite polite. Let's try a different model, the sonnet 3.5. This image shows a bilingual warning sign in Chinese and English with an incorrect and humorous English translation. The second part is incorrectly translated as fell into the water carefully. This is a better response in my opinion. It even understands the humor. This is a classic example of a translation fail where the literal translation creates unintentionally humorous result that conveys the opposite of the intended warning message. Now let me show you uh, what it does if the model doesn't support image. You see this error, Haiku does not support image input. So it's better for you to know uh, which models 
support image beforehand. I live in the east side of Seattle, and a lot of us have been out of power for the last couple of days because of the bomb cyclones. Let's try a web search about this. How many people were affected by the PSE power outage? You see it says searching the web. The recent PSE power outage affected approximately this many customers at its peak due to a windstorm. Around 82,000 customers were still without power. It also lists the uh, sources at the end. Let's check the source. With web search available in Copilot Plus, it's much more convenient to do your research without leaving Obsidian. Last but not least, you can use the YouTube tool to get YouTube video transcripts in Copilot Plus. The way to use it is to add YouTube with a video URL like this. And you can see this blazingly fast. It took not even a second. It's of course partly because this is a shorter video with a shorter transcript. And then you can summarize it into nice bullet points. Now let's try a much longer video, the Huberman Lab podcast. This one is over two and a half hour long. Still, it's super fast to get the transcript, even though it's super long. It took like two seconds. Again, we can summarize it into nice bullet points. Or we can save it as a note and start a deeper chat session with it. Note that only videos in English are supported at the moment. Others will come after. This is a quick overview of the new Copilot Plus. It's in alpha test and will evolve as I get more feedback. If you're interested, please head to obsidiancopilot.com and sign up on the waitlist. You will get a notification as soon as the official version is available. I'm Logan, an engineer creating AI extensions of the mind. If you like what I do here, please give it a like and subscribe to never miss an update. And I'll see you in the next one.